take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. Like other ground covers, creeping phlox takes a few years to reach maturity. About two years on average, according to the North Carolina State University Cooperative Extension. This means it grows an average of about an inch per month. Make your mark, take our lead. One of the best loved features about creeping phlox is that it will spread, but is not so brutish as to be invasive about it. It will cover an area quite nicely and will politely step around anything already growing there. Make your mark, take our lead. Perennial phlox will grow back year after year but it is best, right after the first frost spells, to cut the foliage short. It would quickly turn black if left on the plant. Protect with a fair layer of dead leaf mulch. You can pull out annual phlox because they don't grow back from one year to the next. Let's help you make your mark. Nice to grow your own mulch. Tall garden phlox is a very popular well-behaved late-season blooming perennial but its evil twin with the same five-petal flower arrangement is highly invasive. When hybrid perennials reseed, the seedling often reverts back to the original or mother perennial. Take our lead. Growing anywhere from 10 inches to 4 feet high, tall phlox is a summer bloomer. While a few varieties can bloom into September, most tall phlox blooms in July and August. Notable exceptions are the Astoria and Intensia phlox, which bloom beautifully into late fall and even through winter in very mild climates. Let's help you make your mark. Features. This type of tall garden phlox can grow to a height of 24 to 36 inches. The more shade it gets, the leggier it will become. Plus it will not produce as many flowers, with a spread of about 20 inches. Make your mark, take our lead. Phlox foliage is deep green, fine textured and needle-like. Moss phlox, also known as creeping phlox, Phlox subulata, is a low-growing variety that is used in alpine rock gardens and to edge garden paths and flower beds. There are many different hybrids of phlox, both annual and perennial. Let's help you make your mark. Six weeks. Count on tall garden phlox, phlox paniculata hybrids, to provide a colorful summer display in perennial gardens, blooming as much as six weeks or more. Some cultivars begin blooming in midsummer, others not until late August. Most tall garden phlox grow two to three feet, with some slightly taller. Let's help you make your mark. It grows in clumps that reach between 3 and 5 feet in height and produces panicles of flowers in mid to late summer. Though tolerant of most lighting, it grows and flowers best in partial to full sun. Make your mark, take our lead. Plant phlox in your garden without worrying about phytos or fluffy safety. Phlox, a flowering plant in the Polymoniaceae family, is not dangerous to dogs or cats. This evergreen perennial isn't toxic, so even if your pet nibbles on the leaves or flowers, no harm should ensue. Let's 
Let's help you make your mark. Light. Both varieties of phlox enjoy full sun, although the upright garden phlox can take a little afternoon shade, particularly in the south. Soil. Phlox is tolerant of most garden soils, but well-drained soil is preferable, particularly in northern areas where spring snow is slow to drain. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell notification.